So, you want to learn how to quick scope? Well, let me teach you some shit, all right? For the highest mobility of all the snipers, except maybe the Maverick, which I'm not going to include in this video, you could use the USR, however, you're going to have a higher chance of hit markers underneath of the waist. For pretty good mobility and a lot of damage, but uh, you kind of give up the uh, opportunity to put a lot of bullets downfield fast, uh, you could use the L115. For decent mobility and an integrated uh, silencer there, you can use the VKS, you know, that one's okay too. With the uh, lowest mobility but the highest hip fire range and damage is the Lynx, it's one of my favorites. Before you pick which sniper rifle you like best, let's take a look at the in-game differences between all four of the snipers. Alright bro, so we're talking about the fucking Lynx here, and this thing is a beast. And not because it's semi-automatic, but because of the way that it aims. It doesn't have any of that flashy bullshit that like the USR has. And I'll explain about that a little bit later on. But if you would think about a line protruding out of the end of the scope, you can tell exactly where this is going to aim. So I'm going to try to aim that box. And I'm, I, I haven't even made the line, but I'm going to make it for you in this video. But let's see. Look at that. Look at that, every time. All right, shit, the L115 is the next sniper rifle we've been talking about. It's got an awesome draw time, it's really fast, it's mobile, it's got some damage, and overall good sniper rifle in my opinion. Uh, if you were going to aim in, pre-aim with this, it looks like about yep, right there. I'll draw that line as well so you can see. It's a little bit farther out than the Lynx, but once you get plain enough, you can tell that you will be able to look and see exactly where you're going to aim each time and that is absolutely critical i'll talk about that more in a little bit in the future all right you crazy sons of bitches the vks is the third sniper rifle that i'll be talking about it's very versatile it has that integrated silencer so you can have the upper hand when you're trying to fucking sneak up on some people and blast their face off and it's also got a pretty good draw time. Overall, it's a pretty good sniper if you are good at shooting in the chest area. And you can hit that area most of the time. It's a fucking damn good one. I think right around here, well, that'll work. I'll draw that line again for you as well so you can check that shit out. Now shut up. Oh, fucking K. Okay. This is the USR and it's an okay sniper. I have used it for a couple montages, I know. But I ever since I started using a couple other snipers, I like them a hell of a lot more. It's because the pre-aiming in this is just, it throws me off. I've used the link so long, but it's okay if you want to use this. You can run and slide and spin and shoot and do all that crazy shit if you're Rambo. Fucking hell yeah to you. If not, then you can use one of the other ones. But if you want to aim with this one, it's farther out. I usually go off of the scope to kind of tell me where I'm going to be aiming. It's a little bit harder for this one. See, I was off there. I think it's, if I'm aiming for that, there you go. Right there is where you're gonna wanna aim. Well shit, now that you know the difference in the sniper rifles, you gotta build your class, of course, right? Well, all these sniper rifles that I've been talking about, I put extended mags, cause you're gonna be shooting a bunch of motherfuckers, right? And chrome lines, so you get less the hit markers and just blast the hell out of people. Except for the VKS, I believe, yes, it's down here. The VKS, I use armor piercing because it's already got a 10 motherfucking mag in it, alright, so you're good to go. I don't use any of these anymore. I made a, I made a montage with a thermal scope, okay, what the fuck ever, I don't use them anymore, and neither should you. It's a lot harder, actually, once you get used to it, then you gotta switch and do all this other bullshit. But anyway, alright, so I use the throwing knife as my lethal. I have ready up steady aim and quick draw now you're gonna need those for sure okay now the dead silence the focus you can kind of you know mix and match with those if you want to have something else it's totally up to you I don't give a fuck. So you got your quick scoping class set up and you're ready to be a pub star so you're ready to get out there and shoot some shit up right? Fuck no alright what I strongly advise you to do is to back the hell out go to your bots okay you're gonna kill the shit out of some bots like a lot like fucking a shit though let me show you how to set that shit up I like to play strike zone cause it's smaller you can use whatever the hell map you want to practice on I don't care go to team deathmatch go to these options go to the game options turn everything to unlimited player options number of lives blah 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 don't mess with that shit uh, none of that shit either. Okay, so we're set up. I come back here. I only put two on. I leave them on regular because those are my homies, alright? They kill everybody that I don't fucking care about, alright? So then I put this shit up to nine. Leave them on recruit. The reason is because you're just going to be learning to shoot them. That's it. Okay, well I'm going to let these stupid ass motherfuckers shoot each other while I tell you some shit. Alright, step number one. You're going to want to run 
and you pre-aim while you're running and you stop and you pull the trigger and shoot okay the reason you pre-aim is because you're gonna want your shit to be aiming right the hell where you want to shoot before you even get there right so you're like running and you stop and you pull boom okay that's you're gonna be practicing that you're gonna be practicing your draw you're gonna be practicing your shooting boom see how that worked out okay so we got that now don't be that guy that's running around and you can now there's a fine line between this okay listen carefully when you're running and you're getting into trouble you can move and shoot at the same time but it's gonna be harder okay you can do it at these close distances no problem but when you're running and you're trying to shoot really far away your ADS is gonna not be able to keep up with you and it's gonna miss that shot okay so remember in the old Call of Duties when uh, you had like four lines out in the middle of your screen when you ran around and they moved in and out okay that was your ADS and that is if you're running if you're stopped if you're crouched and if you're laying down okay so those are still here you just don't see them anymore so that's the whole point in stopping. So if you have a really long shot, you're gonna have to stop. All right guys, step number two is motherfucking pre-aim it. You gotta pre-aim that shit. So by the time that you are pulling in to fucking shoot that shit, you're already on target. Then half the time you can be right up on somebody and shoot them because you're already gonna be there. Now how do you know if you're pre-aiming in the right spot? See how that turned orange right before I shot him? That means I was doing a successful pre-aim because it means my sniper rifle was registering that guy was there. Step number three is to practice your draw time, all right? If you take too long to draw and aim, you're gonna get shot and die. Look at this. Oh, it's taking me forever. And now I'm dead because I suck, right? Okay, so if you don't draw long enough, your bullet won't even get where you want it to go. Okay, so let's see here. Let me find it. Okay, here's a person. If I had barely aim, half the time the shit's not even gonna go there, right? Yeah. Exactly. You gotta practice getting the right amount of draw time. Just like that. Step number four is pull that damn trigger. Pull it as many times as you got to. If you miss, you just keep on shooting. Look at that, I got a hit mark. I gotta keep on shooting these bitches, all right? So you wanna keep going, especially when you get into pub games. Like, this is easy stuff. This is just helping you get your accuracy down. When you get in pub matches, dude, it's gonna be hard, okay? Sometimes people are gonna be up in your face. There's been times where I've been like zero and 15, and then I come back and go like 30 and 20 because I get, I start to get something going, okay? So practice, practice, practice. Use these bots, just kill the shit out of them. And you're gonna be awesome. All right, you crazy sons of bitches. Make sure you practice over and over and over again until you are ready to fucking melt some faces off. Thank you for checking out this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for future content. Me and Herbert the Bat are making a new montage here pretty soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. And I thank you again for watching. You guys have a good motherfucking day. Peace.